Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new apartment. Um, if you want to know more about my move, be sure to check out my vlog channel. I have been uh, vlogging the entire month showing you just all the drama that has been involved in my move. Um, I was supposed to be living in another house, but uh, due to extenuating circumstances, i.e. cockroaches, I did not move into that house and I moved into an apartment here. Um, it's a very tiny apartment. It's very cute. I will be doing a tour when everything's figured out, which probably won't be for a few months because the only thing of furniture I have in my room is a bed. But you are not here to hear about on my move. If you want to hear about that, go check out my vlog channel. You are here to see a haul. I have not posted a haul in a very long time and it's June, so that means it's time for Bath & Body Works and Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale. I hit them up. I hit them hard. But I didn't walk away with much, but I wanted to show you all that I've got first. Bath & Body Works. It's a heavy bag. First, I picked up two soaps, and these were actually my prime motive for going into Bath & Body Works because I knew their soaps would be cheap and I wanted to get some soaps for the apartment. So the first one I got for the kitchen, this is called Boardwalk Vanilla Cone, and it smells like cupcakes, uh, of course. I love the way it smells. I love these foaming hand soaps so much more than regular hand soaps. I don't know why, but I feel like they just get my hands cleaner. Um, so I got that. It says it's a blend of marshmallow, fluff, vanilla bean, and creamy caramel. I don't really pick up the caramel, but whatever. The next one I got is Spring Poppies and Picnics. And this is supposed to be a blend of strawberries and poppy bouquet. I'm not normally a fan of strawberries, but the, I feel like the peonies really kind of like mask the smell a little bit so this is stand like the strawberry is standable this is in the bathroom um I have a lot of coupons oh look they gave me another ten dollar off for or more well then well then and then there is this free signature collection item with a purchase of ten dollars or more so that's pretty cool um I went I really didn't need any more shower gels, but I picked up some. This, whoops, this is the Pure Paradise uh, shower gel in lotion. It is a scent of, I love the way that Bath Body Works describes their scents. It is, this alluring scent is a sparkling blend of juicy starfruit, dewy frangipani blossom, frangipani, tropical, I don't know. Water lily drenched with sun-kissed coconut and white musk. This smells very nice. It smells very good, actually. It just smells like summer. I smell, I have never been to the beach, but this makes me think of chilling poolside on a hot day, soaking up some sun. So I got these. Um, these were relatively cheap. I think they were like three bucks. And then I spotted candles because yay candles and I actually bought two that I have currently that I haven't even used up but I love them so much I've been afraid to use them and so I got more for like 10 bucks a candle and it's like I told the sales lady I'm like if I have money which I probably won't because I'm moving but if I have more money I'm gonna come and buy your entire stock of these so I have Aloha no I have a Wahoo coconut sunset ah oh. It smells so sugary and vanilla-y, and sometimes it makes me think of Sweet Tarts or Smarties, or Pixie Sticks. I don't know why it makes me think of candy, but it does. This is a blend of coconut blossoms and tiger lily and molten amber. And then I got my favorite one of all time. This is Cinnamon Sugar Donut, which oh, it just smells so amazing. It makes me think of Cinnamon Sugar Donuts, because that's what it is. I love this stuff. I would purchase this candle, like I would seriously buy their entire stock of this because I love it so much. And then I needed to get up to the $40 mark so I could use the $10 off coupon I had. So I threw in this candle holder and it was $10 but it was half off so it was only five. And I don't know, I think it's cute. I wanted some new like decor stuff for my room anyway. So there, it just looks really nice. I like it, I dig it. That's what I got at Bath & Body Works. Now on to Victoria's Secret. Oh my gosh, waiting in line at Victoria's Secret was crazy, but that's okay. I know the a lot of the girls who work there because, you know, mall staff always just really knows each other. So I had their, like, manager helping me out. So 
I was on a mission. All I wanted really were bras. I've gone up a cup size because I've gained a little bit of weight and I'm actually working to lose it. I've lost three pounds so far, which is really, really exciting. Um, but I've gone up from a 34D to a 34 double D. And all my bras were 34 Ds. I have one 34 double D that I bought full price a few months ago, but then I'm like, well, I'll just wait uh, till the semi annual sale and go buy a couple bras when they're super cheap. Um, so I did, and I had a hell of a time finding some too. I think I tried on like eight different bras, and I only walked away with two. And they're actually, one's a little different than I normally get. I normally get like, just, I'll show you. This is the kind I normally get. I think this is called the body line. I could be wrong. It doesn't even tell me what line this is. Um, but it's just lace, um, and it's like a full cup, and it's got underwire in it. This one is showing up pink, but it's uh, reddish pink, kind of a magenta color. There's rhinestones on it, which I, I mean, I don't know why I need rhinestones on my bra. Nobody's going to see it. Um, but I tried this on. This made my chest look fantastic. It gave me lots of nice support. Got it on sale for $35, and it was a $58 bra, so that's a good deal. And then I got this one, which is a little more, not as, this is one's a little more, like, for everyday wear. I mean, I'll still wear this every day, but you feel me. Um, this one has the lace but it's also got a little bit of lining here I never typically go for the lining I don't like the really like thick padded lining because I feel like I don't like the way it shapes my breasts I feel like it makes them look really like round but I like it when they have a little bit of natural shape to them I like it when they look like breasts I don't like it when they're just like rounded off um, but I really liked how this looked it was very flattering and it's got a cute little pink bow um, and the band here is a little thicker, which I like because I don't like when my, like, fat rolls hang over my bra. Not that I have, like, I'm not, I don't think I have fat, fat rolls, but, like, no, I don't have humongous fat rolls, but, I mean, if you're not wearing a correct band, it just kind of rolls over the, um, strap, and I don't like the way that bulges, so this was very flattering on, I got it for... Oh, $30 and it was originally $52. I think she said that this, no, she said this one was an online exclusive actually um, and they just kind of had it in the store. So I got these two, really, really like them. And then I got some panties because they were super cheap. I think they were on sale for like three bucks a pop, oh, four bucks a pop. So the first one I got is like this boy short or this bikini top. I'm showing you panties and bras, guys. If you are a boy watching this, shame on you. Don't look at my panties. If you are a girl watching this, then, you know, I'm just kind of showing you what I got. So it's this beautiful, like, tie-dye purple and white, and it's got lace along the top and along the bottom. I thought it was really cute. Um, this is from the pink line. Um, I'm a medium for size reference. And then... I got a thong because I like having them like they don't show your panty lines when you're wearing jeggings and leggings and I all about the jegging life so I got a new thong this is also purple with lace um, and then it's just got the cotton uh, bottom and this one was four dollars as well I think so pretty good deal I never buy Victoria's Secret underwear unless I can get them at the semi-annual sale because it's a little ridiculous to pay like what are these run? 10 bucks a panty. Seriously, that is not worth it. I also I also picked up a new top to work out in. I had seen this a few months ago. I had seen this top in January and I tried it on and I loved it. Uh, but then I was like, eh, I'm not going to buy it. I bought a different top. But this one is gray and it's cut out here at the sides and it says, you can't sweat with us. So it's like Mean Girls, but fitness related. And I was just like, I want this to work out in. You know, I just got a new gym membership and I can actually wear tank tops and cutouts to it. Like I couldn't do that at the student center. So I wanted a tank top that I could work out in. And then I did buy something that was full price, but I just wanted some new workout leggings. I have a pink band. It also has pink down the sides. And then these are just the crops. I never buy the full, like, full leggings because I'm really short and the inseam is like 
28.8 inches long and I'm way too short for that. I need like a 25. So I just get the uh, crops and they work out really well for me. I love these. They're, they hold up very well. I'm a very active person when I work out. You know, I run, I lift, I do Pilates, I do the elliptical and I need something that's going to stand up to all of that. And I feel like these are really great. Yes, I could go get Under Armour and stuff, but I actually really prefer these. Um, so I got the medium and this is a 19 inch inseam, so it works really great for me, who's a shorty. And then yesterday, so in the process of moving yesterday, I brought all of my clothes up here and I didn't think to grab pajamas to wear last night when I went back to my grandparents because I wasn't officially moving in until today. So I forgot my pajamas and as soon as I got back to Dubuque, it's a 30 minute drive, as soon as I got across the river, I was like, shit, I don't have pajamas. So I went back to Victoria's Secret and I got some pajamas to wear off the clearance rack. So I got these um, fleece shorties. Um, they're, very, they're a very good length. They're not too short, but they're not too long. Um, I got the medium. And these are a little bit scandalous in terms of shorts because the uh, sides are see-through. So they're like a mesh or really thin uh, portion of the sweatpant. So a little scandalous. Uh, I couldn't wear it around my apartment at my grandparents because I didn't want my grandpa to see it because he would probably flip out. So I got that. And then the top, which was also quite scandalous, I didn't even realize it until I got it home to put on. And hang on, it's inside out. It's this gray top. And the front, you know, is nothing too revealing. It's just a crew neck. Um, it's cut out a little bit here, but then you get to the back, and the back is completely cut out. And I was like, oh my gosh, can't wear this around my grandparents, they'll flip out. But it was actually really comfortable, and if you are not lucky enough to have air conditioning, I would highly suggest getting a top like this to sleep in. It was very nice, or I could also see putting, like, wearing it with the sports bra and wearing it to the gym. And I don't think I would lift in it, but I do think I would do Pilates or something. But yeah, that is that is my haul. Thank you guys for watching. Um, this will not be my permanent setup, I can assure you that. We don't have our furniture in here yet. I want to film in my bedroom, but I need to get lighting for it because the uh, overhead lighting really, really sucks. Um, so yeah, if you want to see more, if you want to see about my move, please go check my vlog channel out. Um, what else? So yeah, that's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you are not subscribed and I will see you all later. Bye guys.